Welcome back to JV Reviews. I have Mr. Ben Byerly. How you doing? And we are going to be getting the 2500 way today and Ben's 3500 way today. Yep. This is going to be the video for payload. This shows you the difference and it's going to be a good video. We got to go hook up. We're going to use my truck to tow it down to the cat scale today and then stay tuned. We're going to do a video showing you guys our impressions with the Shocker pin box and impression towing with the 2500 3500. Be sure to subscribe to your channel. You ready? Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's go. Gotta drop the tailgate down. Now, if you want to turn on the backup line, all you have to do is put it in reverse. There it is. And then you just have to be right here. You guys see where that uh, illuminated orange dot is? It has to show for the trailer, and then we'll go back to the bed view, and boom. Let's see. We did lift the trailer up because the AT4X does have slightly higher stance. Oh, do you want to, let me get yeah. out and check that. Yeah, I'm gonna go check with you two actually. Oh yeah, we're good. Actually, I had already went over, but I gotta put my yeah. goose ball in and then we can go ahead and hook up. So if you didn't watch the last video, go check it out. We did a review on the Shocker hitch and we gotta do some towing impressions soon too. Let's see if I can nail it on the first try. The reason why a lot of people don't like gooseneck for fifth wheels is because it is a little bit harder to line up. So let's see. You might be right. Zoom in. Right there. Let's check out what we did. I should have been on this side. No, you're good. So we were pretty much right under it, but yes. I have to come back just a little bit. Yep, you gotta come back in it. It probably rolled a little bit too, actually, but yeah, you're right. Actually, it would catch, but let's go back a little bit more. So what I like to do too, when you are hooking up, it is nice to kind of drop it down just a little bit. That's why it's close, because then you can see a little bit better. So hit retract, right there. We're pretty much right there. Nice. So here's the first measurement is, let's use 45 and a quarter. Is it off the ground? Yep. Holy smokes. That was nice. That is nice. Wow. And it didn't make you sag that much. It didn't. I wonder if it's the goose box. It must be. I can't wait to see the comparison with your truck and my truck with the squat. Because I mean, it's still dropping a little bit, but we're off the ground. Oh, we're, yeah, we're off the ground. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah, these these three quarter ton and one tons, man, they get the job done. And that's without those overloads too. Although your truck doesn't really hit the overloads. It doesn't really hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But this is a heavy trailer too. It, it is. At well, eleven thousand pounds. We're gonna find out how much pin weight is put on there. So yeah. 43 and a quarter, by the way. Oh, so two inches. That's not bad That's at not all. bad at all. Oh yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that's really good. I wasn't expecting that. So let's go ahead and lock it in. One thing I like about the GMs is you can drop this part down. You can grab these chains down like this. You can reach, although I do have somewhat long arms. Your power is right here. Drop it in here. Uh, out. Lock. lock. Nice. So is it easier to lock this than your Reese box? Um, the, I actually had like a cord I used to pull and it was done. So mine was a little bit easier. Right. But this is still pretty, you know, oh, okay. it's nice. similar. Just in a different form. That's it? That's it. Man. Now we'll say, I'm interested to see, does your airbag lose air as fast as my reached goose box did. If I hit my brakes really hard, uh -huh. I had to re air back up. You know what? We can check it when we get to the scale. Okay. And we'll check and see if it's still got 15 pounds of pressure. Okay. So. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and get down the road then. Let's do it. Didn't think I'd be towing a fifth wheel so soon again. So I can see around the trailer. I got my exhaust brake on. Tow haul mode is on. 
we are ready to go. You have to admit, these new trucks tow so well. Having these types of pin boxes, even when they have fifth wheel hitches that have airbag systems, you know, you don't really feel the trailer back there. Now, when we get on the highway, things like that, that can make or break it too sometimes with like the airbag systems. But yeah, this trail is a little bit shorter than mine, but it's still pretty heavy. He has a lot of gear in there. And yeah, we're gonna find out what the hitch weight is in this video, so stay tuned in here in a second. We should be there in about 30 minutes. But yeah, at 45 miles an hour, I mean, you can't even tell the trailer's back there, guys. It's just, it's really good. We just got the truck weighed by itself. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook up the trailer to Ben's 84. I gotta make sure I get the numbers off the door for your truck too, by the way, yep. so that people can okay. see the payload, all that good stuff. Okay. We got the truck weighed with Ben and myself, and now we're gonna get the trailer weighed with us in the truck together. Ben showed me something I didn't know, guys. You know, I've been going in and out, in and out of the you know, gas station for my weigh-ins. Now, he showed me this app. I can just do it inside my truck. That is gonna make life a lot easier. So, I'm just gonna confirm. Oh yeah, there you go. It's like raining and snowing right now, by the way. Before we left the house, it was like sunny outside. It, well, it was overcast, but it wasn't this. Yeah, it wasn't this. <laughs> like, this is a whole nother Another country. Level, yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Another level. We got the trucks weighed, and then we got the trucks weighed with the trailer. So up first, this is the 3500, and I'm going to just show you guys these really quickly. I put everything in a spreadsheet. So let's get to the 3500 with the trailer. Here's the numbers with the trailer, and then up next, 2500 without the trailer, and here's the 2500 with the trailer. I just created this spreadsheet, so let me explain it really quickly. Right here, you guys can see these are the ratings for the 2500 and 3500. This is the unloaded weight for the scale. So the only thing that was in the truck was myself and Ben, and maybe just a few things here and there, but we didn't have any gear like a generator or things like that. So my truck weighed 8,940 pounds. Now the curb weight on the door is 8496 his truck 8860 and then here's the curb weight without anyone in the truck full tank of fuel we did fill up the truck so these numbers are pretty much going traveling with that being said once you consider the gross fuel weight rating so mine is 11,350 in order to get the payload capacity you have to take this number subtract it from the curb weight in this case because Ben and I were in the trucks this is the new curb weight. So this is how much capacity we now have for both trucks. This is the 3500, this is the 2500, okay? So on the door, again, these are the numbers you're gonna see. Once you add passengers, gears, we just had the gooseneck balls in the bed. This is the new number. So on a 2500, you would have 2,410 pounds of capacity to tow a trailer. And for the 3500, 3,240. So in this case, if you're ever wondering why do I need to go to a 3,500, it's really because of payload and your rear gross axle weight rating. Now, anytime you're looking at a big travel trailer or even I should say really a big fifth wheel toy hauler, you probably will have to go even to a one ton dually because 3,240 pounds of payload is not a lot if a trailer has a dry pin weight of 3,000 pounds. Now obviously if you put toys in the back, that will take a little bit of weight off. It's typically 300 to 400 pounds from what I've seen in the past, but that doesn't always translate the same way because you guys are gonna see when we look at the numbers with the trucks loaded with the trailer, the way the weight hits the truck is different on both trucks. We did this on the exact same day we didn't shift anything in the trailers. And you guys will see here in a second that 
the numbers on the trailer are different. So if you're looking at even a smaller fifth wheel, even though Ben's fifth wheel is not light by any means, he has a pretty big trailer and he has all the uh, solar. He has a big battery up front. And yes, his trailer is pretty heavy. But even with that being said, you guys will see down here, the hitch weight was not that much. And if you were to add these two numbers together, that gives you the total weight of the trailer. And as I said, the numbers did come in a little different, even with us getting the trucks weighted the same day, not changing anything. Now, as far as your ratings go for your gross axle rating, you're actually really good on the 2500 because this is 2000 pounds of weight you're pretty much way under the axle now for the 3500 it's even better curb weight does change so 11,000 for the 2500 10,840 now my truck because it's a AT4X it is heavier I have a full size spare tire under the truck and I have bigger skid plates so those are going to take effect and I think the axles are slightly different on these trucks, I think, because he has an automatic locker, I have a manual locker in the rear. So yes, my truck is a little bit heavier, and you guys see that right here on the door sticker, okay? Not by much, but by a little bit. But when you consider the fact that all I have left over is 350 pounds, that's why you have to go to a 3500 when you're looking to tow a fifth wheel. Having 2,000 pounds of hitch weight makes a huge difference in what you can take with you and what you can't. Now, figure if I had my kids and maybe just a generator and a cooler, I'll pretty much be at my capacity. But with that 3500, you still have 1,260 pounds of payload capacity left over. So in this case here, I do believe that this is the best way to look at the numbers side by side. You can clearly see the 2500 will get the job done because you are under on your axles but in a lot of cases you will be over on your payload capacity depending on how you load your truck up and if you put a lot of gear back there you could get this uh, axle pretty close to the rating here but let's go ahead and jump back in the video and that'll pretty much end it i hope this was helpful this is a lot of information and i might do another separate video simplifying payload because between a one ton and a three quarter ton. Now granted, this three quarter ton is built for like off-road, so the extra skid plates, right? Yep, bigger um, tires. Bigger tires, and that rear end might be a little bit heavier too, because I remember the reason why GM did not put a locker up front on the HDs was because of the weight. So they didn't want to add extra weight to this truck and reduce the payload. So that rear end could be slightly heavier with the manual locker that this one has, but yeah. It's pretty cool to see the numbers side by side. It was impressive. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate this. Oh, and, and when you finally lay those out, people yeah, are going to yeah. be surprised. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you guys have already seen it, but yeah, when I go home and put all the numbers, I got I to gotta, like put all this out on paper because this is so much information. And yeah, thank you for letting me know about this app. This right here, guys, this is going to save me like probably 10 minutes every day having the app with um, the cat scale. If you don't have it, it, it just sends everything to your phone. So easy. But yeah, be sure to subscribe to your channel and stay tuned. I'm going to have Ben drive the three-quarter ton. Yep. See, he hasn't towed a big trailer in a while. So, a long while. <laughs> yeah, for me, I can't ever really notice a huge difference because I'm just used to towing. But for him, he has a one ton, and then he can drive this truck back to back and give his impressions on the difference of how it handles. So don't miss out on the video. Be sure to subscribe to your channel. Make sure to build a on. See you guys soon. Peace.